Hey, it's Magenta and we're here in Boulder, Colorado for the 10th year of Spark Fund's ABC Autonomous Vehicles Competition. This is the ABC course and this is really the evolution of 10 years of designing this competition. Um, and these, all these obstacles have been designed and built by um, our engineering staff. Uh, and the competitors know the course ahead of time and they build their robots for several months in advance um, to be able to navigate it successfully. One of the guys that was working in uh, tech support uh, was uh, one morning we were hanging out and he's looking at uh, an RC truck chassis and Nate's like, hmm, why don't we have a contest for, uh, to, to see if we can make autonomous vehicles to navigate around the building? I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. So, so it became like something of a bet between a few people in order to justify the purchase of a toy. It's, it's always been really fun to watch like the evolution of the technology, the evolution of people. Like we get people coming back and back and back. And so they get better at solving their problems. RoboJackets is a, our competitive robotics organization at Georgia Tech. And as a whole, RoboJackets have been coming to this event for a lot of years. And we've been competing in Speed Demons, Autonomous Car Wars, and Combat Robots. A lot of us are uh, not only do this as a hobby for our club, but we also expand into doing research in that field or working for companies that are in that field. So we've got lots of alum, lots of current members who are either working in labs which are related to advanced control systems or autonomy, or working for companies like Waymo which are interested in autonomous driving. Yeah. So this is uh, honestly a great way to prep for our careers yeah. and allow us to push the field of autonomy further. Yeah. This doesn't just have to be what I do in college and then I go off and get some other job. I can keep moving forward in this field. Yeah. Hey, we're back for competition day of ABC and we're excited to check out the course. So here we are at the classic course where the Speed Demons, Car Wars, and Logistics competitions take place. Three, two, one, go! Watch out, coming in hot! Open source is a great way to get involved because you can go look at any of Spark Fun's designs and see what they've done, right? Schematics, data sheets, anything that they've released into the wild helps people take those and then design their own things around it. So open source is great because it gives the competitors a starting point. All right, we're gonna head over to the Combat Bot Arenas and see what's going on there. All right, it's gonna be a 10-10 at the big arena. 10-10. thing is in this uh, field or in this hobby you get to see failure points much quicker than normal so normally you know they would say this motor is going to last six months or you know this long under load we can do that testing in a matter of minutes to see when it's going to fail so you know in terms of components we're actually pushing the envelope further and further with the technology the programming that goes into all these electronics because we're seeing how it's going to fail very quickly right. and so the iteration process is a lot quicker a lot so it's quicker. like rapid prototyping yeah. almost we're in the combat section they have three arenas one larger one and two smaller ones to accommodate the six weight classes that'll be competing this weekend there's going to be a lot of awesome live coverage by spark Fun, so it's a great place to tune in and see these uh, bots in action Thanks so much to Spark Fun for having us out to ABC this year. It was great getting to meet so many members of the community and really see how this event has evolved over the years. 